About six months ago, I made this video about Andy's bedtime routine, and I thought we'll be good for a year, a year or two, showing you that routine. His routine hasn't changed very much ever. Here we are six months later, his bedtime routine is completely different. So it's time to show you a new one. It is currently 20 past seven. He has, he's already a good 45, 50 minutes into his bedtime routine because the start of it is the same as it's always been. About 6.30, whatever time it starts, is around 6.30. He'll watch In the Night Garden on CBBS which gets him very, very excited. He then immediately switches over to QI on Challenge, um, which he then oh, watches. Dave. Oh, sorry, it's on Dave, is it? My mistake, QI on Dave. He knows what channel it's on. So he watches QI, but then after QI, that's when it starts to majorly diverge from what it used to be. So before I show you that, I'm just gonna pass back, <laughs> I'm gonna pass back to future Kev, who in a slightly quieter environment, is gonna explain what Andy's bedtime routine has been for years. Very, very much past Kev, as you can see. We're now in a future where Andy has gone to bed. So, to bring you up to speed with how bedtime routines were typically for years. Obviously, hopefully, you've already gone back and watched the one from six months ago, so you know what my bedtime routines were like. But even then, they were very much the exception of the rule. We don't live in an exception to the rule world anymore. We now have the same routine every night. The one exception being, I still don't give him a bath because I still don't want to give him a bath and he still doesn't want me to give him a bath. But the rest of this new routine is every night of the week. So the big change is that Anna no longer has to do her old routine anymore. So the routine that Anna used to have to do for years, in fact, there's been a few over the years. When I first met Anna, so we're going back nearly eight years now, the routine was he would, he would be awake until he got tired whatever time that might be. So it could be 8 p.m., it could be 2 a.m. He'd be awake until basically he passed out asleep on the sofa and then she would pick him up and carry him to bed. And that was the only way to get him to sleep. It was completely impossible to get him to sleep in his own bed, on his own. The two options were he slept in Anna's bed with her, which once me and Anna started living together, didn't really work, or that option where he would have to be carried to bed after passing out. When they first moved in here, I put my foot down and said, we ain't doing that. We're having, we're having bedtimes. I'm not having him up until midnight, 1 a.m. That's, that doesn't work for me. He's gonna have a bedtime and we'll just have to figure out a way to enforce it. And it took a long time. And to Anna's credit, she stuck to it for a long, long, long time to make it work. And we eventually got to the point where the routine was certain music played out originally from Anna's phone. We then got a Bluetooth speaker. We've now upgraded to a Google Home, which plays out Andy's playlist off of Spotify every night when he has his bath. So he still has the bath, which would normally be after QI. He'd watch QI, then go up for his bath. He would have his bath and then Anna would take him into his room. She would have to read him a number of stories they, it originally started with one story, big storybook, and then it built up and up and up. We're Going on a Bear Hunt would always be a part of it. We owned about five copies of that book because we left them at places. We left them at respite. He wanted one to read along with while Anna had one. We've got so many copies of We're Going on a Bear Hunt. But the number of books increased, so she'd have to read through all the books with him. And then they'd do Mr. Hand, which is where Anna would have her hand like this and do a funny voice, which is something on the lines of, Hello, Andy or something like that. And that's where she would have the conversation with him about what he's been doing today. So it'd be like, hello Andy, what have you been doing today? And he wouldn't really say anything, but then she'd integrate into that the stuff that either we knew he'd done or the stuff that the school had sent in the email. And that was really the only time we would be able to have a conversation with Andy about what he'd done. So Anna would ask him questions that she knew he'd done at school, via Mr. Hand and he would talk to Mr. Hand about it. So that was always part of the nighttime routine. And then eventually after that was done, and this, this whole process of bath, then stories, then Mr. Hand would take them through from quarter to eight through to about 8.30. So we're already about 45 minutes deep into this. And then for, for years, Anna would then have to lie down on Andy's bedroom floor until he went to sleep. And it was probably about a year ago now, maybe a little bit longer ago, that she managed to graduate from laying on his bedroom floor to laying on our bed in the room next to his. But it was still the case that 
And if you saw that video from six months ago, um, even in that video, I had to lie in our bed and wait for him to go to sleep because if I'd have come downstairs, he'd have just followed. He wouldn't have settled. Um, so she would have to lie on his bedroom floor or lie on our bed until he went to sleep. And that could take anywhere from half an hour. Half an hour would be absolute minimum. That would be the shortest time it would ever take. So we're looking from half an hour all the way up to sometimes two or three hours. If he just didn't, if he just wouldn't settle, he would be awake for hours. And that was the routine every single night for, like I say, six, seven, eight years from when Anna moved in up until probably the last month or so, particularly over the Christmas holidays. But last month or so, it's turned into the one that you're about to see. So 7.45, QI is finished. TV goes off. Bed in 15 minutes, Andy. Now we're back to bed. You want to go to bed now, do you? Yeah. Well, we've got to clean your teeth first, then. That told me. Teeth now. Well, I'm going to do teeth week, now. Week. Oh. His toothbrush. Need your water. As you can see, this doesn't change much. He still has his same glass that he drinks out of. Obviously, he drinks water all the time now, but. Teep time. Oh, come on, no, you need to do more than that. Let's get me in there. They need to get them nice and clean. Yeah, you need to give them a good brush. Okay. Open. Need to do, open. Need to do those bits as well. There you go. And yes, he still swallows the toothpick water. And that's it. That is it. <laughs> Are you saying goodbye to me? He still has the little tent on his bed, as you can see. Did you like not working? No. Oh, that's no good. Well, that was working this morning. We'll have to get a new light bulb. And this is the big difference from how bedtime routine has been for years because no longer do I have to stay up here now. No longer does Anna have to stay up here now when she's here in the evenings. And in fact, he isn't going straight to sleep now. The new thing is, as soon as QI is finished, he'll come up here with his iPad and he'll just have a little bit of chill out time on his own, in his bed with his iPad, and then it'll get to, during the Christmas holidays, it was like 10 o'clock-ish, or really, we just let him stay up as long as he wanted, um, but probably about 10 o'clock. But last night we said nine o'clock, bedtime, comes down, puts his iPad on charge. If you listen to our podcast, you'll have heard him bursting into the podcast midway through last week's episode. That was him coming down, plugging in his iPad, and then he just says goodnight, comes back up here by himself. Me and Anna don't even have to come back up here with him. Comes up by himself and just goes to sleep. It's taken 15 years to get to this point, but there no longer has to be anybody sat up here with him to wait for him to go to sleep. And that, for everybody concerned, is massive because it means he gets this extra little bit of privacy and alone time at this point of the day but it also means Anna mainly, me once a week, but Anna mainly doesn't have her entire evening taken over by either lying on the landing like she used to have to or lying on our bed on her phone for an hour a big big change so i am back downstairs as you probably saw and heard during that little bit andy wasn't particularly keen on it wasn't even that he didn't want me to film in his room he didn't really get why i was in his room because the new routine is so much set up around he goes into his room with his ipad and that's his alone time when we're not involved so we're not in there anymore there's no stories there's no mr hand there's no waiting in there or even waiting upstairs until he goes to sleep even when i was stood on the staircase sort of talking to you um, i don't know if the camera picked it up but when i finished that bit and turned the camera off he then said sometimes i've thank you uh, well done uh, i.e go away now let me have my alone time so he doesn't want us up there it's a complete role reversal from where we were before where we had to be up there if i tried to go up there now he wouldn't want me to be up there and he would try and send me back down and he'll it's just before eight o'clock he'll be on that ipad now until nine o'clock on the dot now if he doesn't come down i will tell him but every single night we've done this so far and we've given him a time to finish he will come down at that exact time. So nine o'clock tonight, he will burst through that door, probably naked, and I'll send him back up to put some clothes on. It will burst through that door, put his iPad on charge, go upstairs on his own, maybe go to the toilet once more, and then go to sleep. 
and then we'll have to wake him up in the morning because that's the other thing. This will be a video for another week. His morning routine completely changed to how it used to be now as well because, spoilers, we now have to wake him up most days. This morning, so it's Tuesday today, um, first day back at school today, we had to wake him up at 7.30 or else he just wouldn't have had time to have his breakfast before his school bus came. So um, it is all very, very different. It's all hugely positive change. We put out the weekly vlog a few days ago, which, taught, which showed the huge progress he's made with reading and with eating. And that's why I thought it was a good time to put this video out as well, because they're not the only areas he's made progress. This whole bedtime and morning routine change that's gone on is massive. Like I was saying before, it's, it's revolutionized mine and Anna's free time because for the last however many years, I've kind of been left to it and left on my own in the evenings. If anyone watches my Football Manager channel and is wondering why I haven't really been streaming on Twitch for a while, it's because me and Anna have been doing this thing that I don't know if you're familiar with it. I don't know if it's something that everyone else does. But in the evening, after the kids have gone to bed, we just sit in here and watch a bit of telly. We've been together eight years and we've never been able to do that before. We're catching up on TV shows, it's mad. So fingers crossed, this new routine settles in. Like I say, it's still early days, it's only about a month in. We could get to tomorrow and he's like, right, bath story, Mr. Hand, and we're back to where we were before. But at the moment, I'm loving the change and hope it is a permanent one. 